Good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to a new weather update. I'm meteorologist Chris Snow. Well, our almanac shows that temperatures are a little bit colder than normal as we we're expecting to see highs in the lower 40s in the Grand Valley. And well, that's thanks to that cold front that moved through yesterday. And round two, that winter storm system, it will be moving in for the late parts of the afternoon tonight, moving into the evening hours. And we're getting expected to continue to see chance for snow showers in the western slope throughout the overnight hours. And because of that, we're seeing winter weather advisories being issued for the Grand Valley as well as areas following along I-70 and those higher elevations near it. They'll be under winter storm warnings as they are expected to see a little bit more snowfall at those higher elevations. And as we zoom out, it's pretty much all of western Colorado that is currently under these winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories. However, the northwestern corner of the state is now going to be left a little bit outside the advisories with the heaviest snow. That's expected to fall down for the south closer towards the San Juans from the system. As we take a look at our future cast, well, overall showers were on the lighter side for the morning hours, but as we start moving to the later parts of the afternoon, we'll start to see those heavier snow showers move in in those areas of darker blue, and we're expecting to continue to see chances for these scattered showers throughout the evening and overnight hours, and the heaviest snow is actually expected to fall shortly once we start looking at Wednesday morning. And we'll continue to see those showers continue throughout Wednesday, extending all the way until Thursday morning, in fact. And as we take a look at our state temperatures, well, high temperatures for the day, mostly going to be in the upper 30s for the Grand Valley, will be a little bit colder over those higher elevations in the upper 20s. And as we cross the border over into the divide, well, they're expecting to see high temperatures for the day around 12 degrees over in or afternoon temperatures around 12 degrees over towards Denver. As we start moving through the overnight hours, morning lows, they'll be actually similar to what we woke up to this morning and that's thanks to seeing cloudier skies throughout the overnight hours around 8 a.m. tomorrow will be around 29 degrees in Grand Junction will be in the lower 20s by Aspen and Gunnison well you'll see morning lows down in the teens as we take a look at what we can expect to see around noon for Wednesday well once again, we'll see some upper 30s and overall be around similar temperatures. However, weather conditions would be different, and that's thanks to this cutoff flow that's approaching the western slope. That cutoff flow is just going to be inching closer and closer towards us, and as it moves closer, we'll see heavier snow showers move in, and those showers are expected to last throughout the day on Wednesday. But once we look at Thursday, we'll see dry air following its wake, and we will see dry conditions for the afternoon hours of Thursday. They'll continue all the way through the weekend, and we will be drying up and warming up once we start looking at next week. However, we have to get through this winter weather system first. Overall, we are expecting to see three to eight inches of snow land in the Grand Valleys over close towards Grand Junction as well as over in Delta and Montrose. Once we start looking at higher elevations, most of those regions in the central parts of the divide are expected to see a foot of snow from the system. We could potentially even see two feet of snow fall down for the south and the San Juans, and we'll continue to see heavy chances for those heavier snow showers throughout the day for tomorrow. Once we start looking at Thursday, though, things will be drying up. High temperatures, though, will get knocked all the way down close to the freezing point. However, we will be warming up as we move through the weekend with highs expected to return to the upper 40s for Monday of next week. And over in Montrose, it's mostly the same story. You'll have slightly higher chances for these scattered showers and overall expect to see some snowfall fall overnight tonight. Moving into tomorrow morning as well as you'll still see chances for the showers early in the day on Thursday. Once we start looking at Friday and the weekend, things will be drying up and highs are expected to be back in the upper 40s for Monday of next week.